Bear down, Chicago Bear fans. All right, schedule is set so we know when they're going to play and who they're going to play. Week one at Los Angeles Rams. All right, that's a loss. Matthew Stafford with the Rams, he's a huge upgrade over Jared Goff. Jared Goff sucks. Let's be honest. So Matthew Stafford going to Los Angeles Rams, big upgrade. Um, They're a good team. Bears are going to lose that game, let's be honest. All right, week two, they're playing at home against the Bengals. That's a win for the Bears. If they don't win this game, then put, put put a bag over your head. All right, week three, at Cleveland Browns. That's an L. That's a loss. Cleveland's just a better team. Uh, Week four, Jared Goff as the quarterback. That's a win. Then we go to week five at the Raiders. All right, so this one is 50-50 for me. But since it's on the road, I'll go 51% Raiders, 50 Bears. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if the Bears can pull this one out. But if you put a gun in my head and make me pick a team, just because they're at home, I'll pick the Raiders. Green Bay Packers, that's a loss. At Tampa Bay, that's a loss. At home against San Francisco, they got a good defense. That's going to be a tough game. End of October, the Bears could win this game. I would give... Maybe by this time, Justin Fields is playing. Who knows? I'll give it a 50-50 game, but gun to my head, I'm going to go with the 49ers. It it pains me to say that. Um, It really does. At the Pittsburgh Steelers, is Ben Roethlisberger still playing? If he's playing and they're healthy, I expect the Steelers to win at home. Uh, Week 10 bye. Wow. They got to wait all the way to week 10. All right. Uh, Ravens, that's a loss. I mean, I say more. At the Lions, is Jared Goff still their quarterback? Yes. Bears should win that game. All right, that's a win. Arizona Cardinals in Chicago in December. Who, if Justin Fields is playing by now and he is as good as everyone hopes, Bears can win this game. But if Justin Fields is playing and he's not as good as everybody hopes, or Andy Dalton's playing, it's a, it's a loss. At Green Bay, that's a loss. Uh, the Vikings <clears throat> in Chicago. Um, the Bears can beat the Vikings, especially in Chicago. They can win this game. At Seattle Seahawks, that's a loss. At home against the Giants, that's a win. You should win that game. And then at Minnesota. Whew. They're at Minnesota. It's January. Um, I don't know. Minnesota pulls one out. I'm going to go with a loss to the Bears. So that's my thoughts on the schedule. It's a tough one. It's a very tough schedule. For a team that sucked as bad as the Bears did, uh, this schedule does with no favors. I mean, real quickly, I mean, just quickly. Rams, <clears throat> see, Rams made the playoffs. The Browns, Packers, Tampa Bay, the Steelers, the Ravens. Uh, I think the Cardinals even did. Seattle. I mean, this is this is a brutal schedule. So I only feel pretty confident about getting a victory against the Giants. At home against Minnesota, at Detroit, um, at home versus Detroit, and at home against the Bengals. Those are the only games I feel pretty good about them winning. Other than that, we're looking at a lot of L's. So, but let me know in the comments. How do you see the schedule breaking down? Now, obviously, if Justin Fields comes in, somewhere around week seven, eight, or even sooner. And if he plays, 
like we dream of him playing, they're still going to lose some games due to this brutal schedule. Overall, I think it's going to be a losing season for the Bears, which means, wait a minute, do they get a first-round draft pick next year? I don't think they do. So never mind, never mind. Even if the Bears got a good draft pick, they still wouldn't get it due to that trade. So never mind that. But overall, I think it's going to be a another bad year for the Bears. But hopefully Justin Fields is the quarterback of the future. He's going to be a future Hall of Famer, And maybe he can pull out some wins later on in the season. We'll see. But let me know in the comments what do you think. So Chicago Bears schedule is brutal. Very brutal. I mean, honestly, the Green Bay Packers, the Baltimore Ravens, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are legit. And with the Rams, with Matthew Stafford, these are legit Super Bowl favorites that the Bears have on their schedule. I'm telling you, with Matthew Stafford, with the Rams, I'm telling you now, they will be the team that they always wanted to be. I guarantee it. So, yeah, there it is. Anyway, bear down, Bear fans. The only thing we got to look forward to is Justin Justin Fields, and let's hope for the best.